Introducing the Godwin Goat. If you're looking for a durable, high-quality indoor basketball that looks good and feels good, then check out the Godwin Goat at BallHogGloves.com. We also have pads, ball handling gloves, and shooting eggs. For a limited time, use discount code GodwinGoat33. Click the link in the bio. Remember, but they're large in volume as well. Smiths threw it away, but Reggie managed to chase it down. Now down in front of the Pacers bench, here's Reggie. Drops it inside to Smiths. Turning on morning and got the jump hook. Richardson pulled up the dribble, now lobbed inside the deadlift, left right out front. Might have got a hand on the ball, but nonetheless got the shot to fall, and Dedow has four points. It is 8-7, to seven, Indiana back in the lead. Now Moreland is back in the other end. And the third lead, James gives the lead back to the Hornets. Good quick hitting offense that time as Alonzo ran the floor and got down there before Rick did that for Smith. And actually forced Detlef to defend Morning in the post, and that was a mismatch. Rick going outside this time. Smith's shooting percentage on the year is right at 50%. He has four. Here's Reggie taking one from long range and knocking it home. He was on the home run mark, so it'll go down as two. And Reggie Miller gets his first field goal in the ball game. And now it's Indiana and Charlotte exchanging field goals at either end. Who couldn't get it? Dale's got the rebound. Get a fresh 24. Reggie gets the outside pass. Here is Shrimp over Johnson. Here's the outside shot. The three is in the air off the mark. Reggie runs the lead pass to Pooh Richardson down. Got the layup, got the hoop. Miller now with five. And Indiana's transition offense, very impressive right now. It's Gaddison. Smith with the rebound. Quickly up court to Detlef Shrimp. Pacers really moving the ball well tonight in transition from defense to offense. Motor by Reggie. <laughs> Miller now with three buckets and a free throw and seven points. And it's 34-32, dead at the other end. Well, he's got one of the highest arching shots, Clark. I've been watching him play now for years, and I'm still flabbergasted how high he gets that ball. Now, Miller, shot clock is down now to five seconds. Inside Detlef, double team goes to Reggie, lets the three fly. Got it. Reggie Miller with the outside shot as the shot clock was running down. Has his 10th three-pointer of the year. He has 10 points on the night. 55-54, Charlotte, 538 to play here in the first half. Reggie got hammered. Take your pick. You want Morning or you want Johnson? Pick him. Nice strong move by Miller. Winfield, one on one on Detlef. They pull up. Got the shot. Wingate knocked away. Rebound comes off down to Indiana. No numbers advantage, but Reggie got there in a hurry. Now we'll get some goaltending. I believe they'll get morning this time. They will give the bucket to Reggie Miller. Muggsy Boggs comes back. He'll take that shot. He won't get it this time, though, when Christmas comes off of the board. They've got numbers again if they hurry. Richardson. Out to Reggie, 4-3, short, on the floor, got his own board. Great hustle, draws the foul, missed the shot, J.R. Reed got it. I love the aggressiveness. Certainly it was a short three, but yep. in transition for an excellent three-point shooter, not a bad shot. Steal by Pooh, here's Reggie, got the layup, and Indiana now with a 65-57 to lead. Inside Woo! Reggie and a great entry pass by George McLeod. McLeod is second of the ball club and assists, as a matter of fact, with almost four per game. Final 40 seconds now, the first half. Richardson in real deep trouble, got it to Reggie. He got, got three on the way, and he's got it again. Reggie Miller's second three-pointer of the ball game. He now has 20 points in this quarter. Six-point halftime lead is cut down to two, and Death left Shrimp quickly adds two more to the total. Death now with 17 points. Alonzo can really make the passing game effective for this team because he can make that shot. And as the guy who's going to be in that position, do, do I hear it from you? So Boom, baby. Slick's not here. That's a three for Reggie. He has 20, he has 33 points in this ball game now. I don't think so. Dent takes such great care of himself that he's ready to play. And probably the excitement of being in the starting lineup is enough to get him through any fatigue that he might experience. Well, Reggie's going to pick up right where he left off, Clark. He's got 29. All not free. Richardson's got it. Reggie runs the lane, gets the pass, got the points. We'll go to the line with a foul by David Wingate. What about the pass? Great right pass. Right on the Money. Here's Reggie Miller. He is cooled off a little bit. LaSalle Thompson goes to get it. Here is Reggie. Ow! Man up and good. Re Reggie Miller changed hands in the sky, and he continues to light this baby up. He's got 12 points in this quarter. Richardson, Fleming, and Miller with Shrimp and Mitchell on the floor. That's a this small lineup. Very there right small, now. but with the small size, you hope to get quickness and plenty of activity at both ends. Del Curry. 
He knew he was in trouble because they had isolated Reggie on one side of the floor. Curry, even though he is 6'5 and has good quickness, is probably not going to keep up with the Reggie Miller here. 94-87, Indiana. Four minutes to play here in the third period. This has been one whale of a basketball game. Reggie inside, takes the shot, missed the shot, but threw the foul. They're really isolating Reggie, and for good reason. Reggie has made 15 free throws by himself, Clark, and the Hornets have made 13 as a ball club. 43 points now for Reggie Miller in full court pressure you talked about. Yeah, they do it out of the made free throw. Indiana breaks it in a hurry. Here's Reggie, faked the three, got in for about a 20-footer, and knocked it home. Reggie Miller is on fire. Career high, isn't it? That is it right there. That's 19 points in the quarter. He has 46, and here we go. Reggie runs the lane and has it knocked away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. He just told the Hornets bench he's going to get 50. Oh, is that what he told He just told him. He just well, told him. He's got 47 right now. Here's Reggie now working on Tony Bennett. And, uh, make your pardon on uh, Kevin Lynch. He got it. <laughs> he's got it. I'm oh, he's telling got 50 you what, on man. The books right now. This is showtime. Words are unnecessary, folks. He has 22 points. I've got him for 22. This would make it. Has he got 49 now? 49? Half of a C note on I'm this free throw. You what, boy? 50 points on the line right here for Reggie Miller. Unbelievable. He's only two short of the Pacers' record for points in the game. 52 set in 1980 by, by Billy Knight. Baseline shot up and good by Muggsy Ball. Believe it or not, first two points of the second half for Muggsy. Now, this Clark may be one of those runs that I know Slick was talking about, and I know you get concerned about, but Reggie Miller has hit now 52, and that ties the Pacers' all-time franchise record in the NBA for points in the game at 52. Rebound ripped out of there by Dale Davis. Here's the lob to Fleming. He got two off the assist by Reggie Miller. Morning missing. Rebound knocked free. Alonzo's got it again. Put it back up and got it this time. Zoe with 27. Clark with his first two on the board. Well, it's been all Pacers here in the second half. Mostly all that guy right there who's been on fire from the floor. And they just haven't really been able to put anybody in front of him off the dribble. He was the Pacers all-time leader in three-point field goal attempts and makes and three-point field goal percentage. All-time leader in free throws made. Second in free throws attempted. Be seven behind Fleming. So he has now passed him into the number one spot in that category. And here he goes for 54 points. That's it. He's in the record book as the all-time leading scorer in Pacers franchise history. Remarkable ball game. Those are NBA numbers, by the way. Now here's Morning, and it's blocked by Dale Davis. They'll call him for goaltending. Give the bucket to Alonzo Morning. Give him 29. Well, he's been the story offensively for the Hornets. He just hasn't had any help here. I wonder where Larry Johnson has been. Yeah. Because he's the guy that's seeking to be the go-to guy oh for the Hornets. Reggie Miller with another three-pointer.